So, today, my friend left me their Telecaster so I could start working on it. I'm going to be working on another do-it-yourself video. If you can't tell, this Telecaster is crackling during certain conditions. For example, if I do this, or if I adjust the tone. Now, I've dealt with this a couple times. It's not too hard to fix, and I'm going to show you what to do right now. This is how you fix crackling on a Telecaster and most guitars. Now, if there's one thing you're going to need for this, it is deoxidizer. You definitely want to try to get yourself a decent amount of deoxidizer. Let me get the glare off. There we go. So, this is an object, or this is a spray, that's used to actually get rid of the rust inside of your instrument, inside of your electronics. One of the things that happens quite a bit if you leave a guitar sitting for too long, if it's in a damp area, sometimes the actual components inside of the potometers, pots, you know, will start to rust over. So when you actually move it, it'll give you that crackling sound. So first thing I like to do if I have some guitar making this sound, you know, every time you turn the volume up and down or turn the tone up and down, it'll go <laughs> for lack of a better word. We're going to remove the actual covering case spray some deoxidizer, move it around, and then plug it in again and see what if it sounds better. It also sounds like that the inside, the actual input jack, is possibly a little stripped. So if it's not doing a lot better after I do this, I'm going to take the input jack out and look at it. It might just be an easy fix, but we'll find out. Now, I suggest getting a tool like this. This is something specifically from Music Nomad. If you look them up, you'll be able to find it. This is a tool that will help you remove the actual parts here without tearing up your guitar. It's really easy to do. All I did was that. See? Now the actual knob is off. Quick and easy. Now, sometimes they don't go as easily. Sometimes it takes a little more force. Don't be too afraid, but like, be aware. <laughs> so, there we go. I'm just going to set these right next to it for safety. Next, we're going to take our deoxidizing spray. We're just going to spray a little bit around the actual area. So I'm just going to go here and spray. You should... It's, it's not going to hurt if you spray quite a bit. It's not like the end of the world. Next, just take the time to actually rotate these make sure it goes through and then you're going to want to let it sit for a minute or two. I'm going to turn off the camera while I just spend time rotating these knobs because trust me you don't want to see me just sitting here rotating knobs for a minute uh, and then we'll turn it back on after I plug it in and we'll see how it's going. Hopefully it'll sound a lot better there won't be a slight crackle when I hit the strings and we'll talk about what we do next from there. But most guitars, really easy. Just take off the knobs, spray some deoxidizer on the actual parts here. You're not going to destroy it, it's actually going to clear it up. And we'll see what happens right now. Alright, so straight away it's not making any crazy feedback like it did a second ago. It's actually pretty smooth there. Now I do notice a little bit of crackling still if I adjust right there, if you hear it but it's almost completely gone. So, you know, real easy fix. All you gotta do is take some deoxidizer, spray it right into these pots. Now, if it is extremely rotted or messed up, you may have to take it out and spray it on the bottom of the potometers to make sure it gets through the entire thing. But straight away, that's sounding smooth. Not as harsh as before at all. So this has been a really quick and easy fix of how to get rid of that crackling sound, especially on this Squire Telecaster. Now, thank you for joining me. My name is Richard Durazo. If you want to see other quick little how-tos of how to fix some problems for guitars, leave a comment. I used to do more of these videos, but all of my guitars are in decent shape, so I haven't felt the need to do one. I'll see you all soon. If you like this, just hit like, 
if you want to see me mess with another guitar, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you some other time. Bye!